Hi guys, Z artists. So for our experimentational class, drawing class, I just wanted to show you an idea how to prepare, how to recycle and prepare your old drawing that you may not like and prepare it for transformation. We're going to be working with you this week on how to layer and create almost double exposure images. So for that, I'm going to switch you and show you a little quick technique. This is just going to be a couple of minute video that will help you. All right, let's go to my document camera. I'll focus a little bit. Okay, so this is a bunch of my old drawings. Uh, some of you may recognize I did this for Lena in our private class. I did this for Jana in our private class. I did this in our demo and I don't particularly love them. And I want to be able to use them as surface for my next work of art. So what I'm going to do, and you could do this with um, clear gesso, and you can dilute your clear gesso with a little bit of water and use it to the same effect. But this is a consistency that's just great. I could shake this up. It's called, oh, I sprayed it a little bit. Let me get a paper towel. This is called PVA size. It's actually formulated, as I told you earlier in another class, uh, like rabbit skin glue. So this is what they would have used in Renaissance to cover in preparation the panel before you paint with oil or canvas before you paint with oil on it. And then you would put gesso on top. So you want to shake this up. And then let's start with our pastel over here. I'm going to pour just a bunch of, just on top right here, just a little puddle. So I'm just going slow. So I poured a little puddle. I'm going to get a large brush and just a few times I'm going to go over. So what's going to happen is going to seal the design underneath. And some of this is going to blur and some of this is actually going to come through and it dries clear. So it will create a bit of a mess like this. I'm just gonna go over one time to remove a little bit more. I'm gonna start seeing a kind of a ghost. Now this ghost is gonna create a beautiful background for me to draw on top of in our next class, in our next session. So I'm gonna come back to this. You see how it's mysterious. I didn't ruin anything, it's still there, right? But you want to use something you're not afraid um, to let go of, right? This is an exercise for um, bravery, for repurposing. So this is what I'd like to do. So here's one. It kind of looks cool. It went from a pastel to a painting almost immediately. I'm going to let it set it away and let it dry. And let's do a couple more. All right. What happens if we use a charcoal and do the same thing with the charcoal? So I'm going to do this to this drawing. Just pour a bit of a puddle. It's just so easy to do, right? It's going to seal it completely. I've got a bit of my table and my working station, but it doesn't matter because this is where I paint anyway, so I can get messy. It's going to look a little bit cloudy, right? But remember, it's going to dry transparent. So this is really cool. It will blur a bit, which is what I want. I want this image to step back. I don't want it to be so insistent. And this is what's happening. It's blurring a little bit. It's starting to look a little bit like Gerhard Richter paintings. If you're familiar with his work, they look like old vintage photographs. Okay, and so this becoming mysterious and setting back. So you can imagine me drawing on top of it and another image, and that's going to be fun. So I'm gonna set that aside. So now I have two prepared, let it dry. It's going to take about two couple of hours to dry. So you wanna do this uh, uh, really early before the class in the morning or day before is preferable. Okay, so a bunch on this guy. You probably remember me doing this in class and I'm going to seal it. It has some powder, uh, some particles that are going to mix in to my PVA sizing, to my gesso, clear gesso. And that's what's so cool because it's going to create an effect. I think there's some hairs or some texture from the brush. I'm going to remove that and go over not too many times, but I want to seal it. Basically, I'm creating like a glue sealing on my paper. You see how mysterious, again, this face is looking through. It's going to make a nice background for my experimental drawings. 
I love this technique. So take something you don't like, transform it into something that will surprise you and that you will love. So to be continued, I'm going to come back to you to say goodbye. So it's just a quick preparation. Where am I? Here I am. So I just hope you're excited that you prepare two, three of these drawings that you don't. Uh, I hope you have something at home that you don't like. Maybe the, everything you've done is perfect, but maybe you'll find two or three drawings that uh, you wanted to throw away, but you didn't get to it. Those are the ones that you want to use and see and experiment with them. The paper could be various. Uh, the heavier the paper, the more experimentation you could do with it later. But some of this paper that I showed you was just charcoal paper. It wasn't even watercolor. So you have a free range here. You could use your old pastel. Try a charcoal, try a pastel, try an ink, something that you didn't like. Just so over it, leave it best overnight, if not for a couple of hours, and then we come back to it in class. Yours truly, Z, Z Art Academy. Bye. See you soon.